Traces of the first humans in Norway are to be found in the far north of the area where the Sami live. Archaeological excavations have uncovered settlements dating from about 10,000 BC. We do not know what language uh, the earliest population spoke nor that they call themselves Sami. What we can see, however, is that during no prehistoric period do the archaeological evidence indicate that one population was replaced by another. And when we get up to 2000 BC, decoration on bone objects uh, shows clear similarities with the Sami decoration patterns. Uh, so a certain cultural continuity between the Stone Age population and the Sami can be assumed. Of the ethnic groups living today in the area settled by the Sami and known by them as Sami, the Sami are the eldest. The first ethnic designation we have for the people of the far north is from 98 AD from a written account that mentions the Sami for the first time. The Roman historian Tacitus calls the people Feni, which is believed to mean the Sami. For several hundred years, this was the name used for the Sami. The name of the people also gave the name to the country they lived in, namely Finnmark, which means the land of the Sami. From the early Middle Ages, there are accounts of the Sami as a ski-going people, which means that they were one of the first peoples to use skis. Already during the Viking era, there was competition from outside for the natural resources found in Sami. Through trade, taxation, looting and plundering, Sami goods were exported to European markets. In the 14th century, the colonization of Sami began. Other peoples penetrated the Sami areas, which were divided into hunting, trapping and fishing areas called Sida. With the Sida system, the Samis organized their daily lives and their relations with other groups. The Sida was headed by a Sida council, which chose its leader. The Sida Council provided rules of law and also functioned as a court of law. The members of the Sida had the exclusive right to all natural resources within their area. The traditional Sida system began to disintegrate already in the 17th century. The surrounding sovereign states gradually demanded higher taxes. In some areas, the Sami were taxed by four different nations at the same time. The colonization of Sami also led to greater pressure on the Sida. The Sami had to hunt more and more in order to satisfy the tax collectors. Wild reindeer were almost completely wiped out and, as a result, the Sami began to keep herds of tame reindeer. In 1751, and 1826, the four nation-states of Norway, Sweden, Finland and Russia divided Sami among themselves. From the mid-19th century, Norway put into effect a strict policy of Norwegianization. This policy was based on social Darwinism, which gave superior races the right and the obligation to educate inferior primitive peoples. Social Darwinism created the foundation for legislative work, research and practical policies. New educational laws were adopted in the end of the 19th century, which prohibited the use of the Sami language in teaching in schools. In Finnmark, the post of director of schools was established to supervise the work of Norwegianization and boarding schools were set up for the same purpose. Also, the new 1902 Land Act in Finnmark 
served the cause of Norwegianization. This decreed that only those who spoke Norwegian would be allowed to buy land. The law remained in force right until 1965. Officially, the policy of Norwegianization lasted until Second World War.